It's been almost three months now since News for Jax broke the story about the deplorable living conditions at Eureka Gardens. And as we get ready for a new year, there's been plenty of progress, but also dozens of outstanding safety violations. According to HUD reports, more than two dozen critical violations still exist at the Eureka Gardens complex. And with the clock ticking, residents and city council members say it's only a matter of time before the owner, Reverend Richard Hamlet with Global Ministries Foundation, is stripped of his ownership. It all came to a head at Eureka Gardens on October the 1st when code enforcement, state fire marshals, and HUD officials conducted a surprise investigation. It was a two-day sweep that exposed leaking gas connections, faulty electrical wiring, and dangerous stairwells, as well as mold that families say they've been exposed to for several years. It's come a, a long way from where they were. Tenant Association President Tracy Grant says things get better every day. For instance, today we saw contractors working to repair the plumbing in units. Grant says residents have been experiencing flooding recently. When they had to cut the walls in the back of the toilet, a couple of people, they had um, rat droppings and the pipes probably were leaking or were a slow leak. Plumbing isn't the only issue the owners at the Global Ministries Foundation are trying to repair. According to the latest HUD inspection, 26 critical violations still exist, including gas leaks and electrical issues. HUD officials have given the owner, Reverend Richard Hamlet, until February 4th to repair everything, a deadline that Councilman Gary Dennis suspects he'll have a hard time meeting. Uh, I'm optimistic, um, but uh, I don't think that uh, that uh, that Global Ministries, just based on the track record, uh, that they're going to meet their February 4th deadline. If Hamlet doesn't meet that deadline, HUD's threatening to take over ownership of the complex from Global Ministries, a move that city leaders say would benefit the families who live here. If HUD takes over the city, you know, we're uh, at the table. Um, there's a lot of opportunity there. There's opportunity to decentralize uh, Eureka Gardens. There's 400 units, which, you know, no one builds complexes like that, especially uh, low-income housing like that. It's an opportunity to decentralize uh, that. It's an opportunity to, uh, you know, rebuild it. HUD officials are also demanding that the Reverend Richard Hamlet with Global Ministries return more than a million dollars back to them. This is the money that Hamlet has received in federal subsidies that wasn't used for repairs but instead taken as profits according to HUD officials.